the greatest of all fools. Omega, I will not let you die in my hands. And I will do you a favor. Squeezing the life out of you if you stomp into my compound in this manner again. It's crossed your boundary today. You did! How dare you talk to my woman today? I figure that I have talked to most of your useless women lately. So which one are you talking about? Is it the ones that are on their way out of your miserable life as we speak? Omega! Stay away from me! Stay away from Okudile and everything that concerns me! Stay away from me! Oh what? Me. Oh what? Let me tell you something. Omega! It only takes a man. It takes a great man to bring out the beast in a common man like you. Onye Wodogu. I sing on your wood dog. I will not want you again. Now get out of my compound, you filthy idiot. Right? Get out! Look how you're sweating like a mad dog. You will take that title. But that would be in your grave. Honestly, you are not making any sense to me. What are you even saying? Eh? Can you even hear yourself? We live in an age where people are thinking money. Thinking money? Mkwa, do you feel I don't think about money? You are not. You are not thinking money because if you are, you will not remain in this village engaging in baseless war of supremacy with Omenka. My darling, listen to me. Come with me to Niwi. Come with me, let me introduce you to some importance that will expose you and, 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 and help your life. Nkwase, I appreciate all that you are doing to make my life better in this village and I understand where you are coming from. But you should equally know that I have, I have my reasons of staying back here in the village. Yes. Engaging in village politics? Hmm? Is that what will bring food on your table? Is that what will make you a man? Okudili? You see, Mkwa, let me tell you something. Don't look down on the things I do now. Don't. By the time I become the closest sensory of this kingdom, hey, maybe I'll start making money. Too much money, oh. It is not my intention to engage in an argument with you. It's just that... Mkwa, where are you going? I'm going back to Newi. When you change your mind. Oh. No, 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 no. Baby, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. At least wait for me. Let me see you off to the garage. Please. But you, you should stop, stop getting angry now. Please. It hasn't called to that. What's here? What's here? What's here? What's here? What's here? What's here? No! No, my prince! No, now! What? Not, not today, not today. Eh? What is it? If I have to come all the way from the palace to this place and then not, not get into the compound of what use now, why, why bring me in the first place? <laughs> Denver. Eh? Nothing of such will happen today. In fact, you are going in there all by yourself today. Are you serious? <laughs> my prince, my prince. You mean I'll have to spend some time here alone with her? <laughs> I'm sorry. What do you want me? What do you want me to do? Go in there and bring her out. Do you understand? Tell her that I have somewhere special to take her. I know her, her mother must be around. I don't, I don't particularly have time for her long chatter. No, no, my prince. You don't, you don't do things that way. No, no, listen. I advise you learn how to get used to her. Soon, <laughs> she will be your mother-in-law. Oh, oh. Udemba, just, just go in. Hmm? Uh, tell her I have a surprise for her. Okay. Hmm? You know what? Who is here? Oh? Who is at home? 
Oh, it's like, it's like nobody, nobody knows. What <laughs> I, I heard a knock at the door and I, I was actually taking my bath. It's okay. Well, if it is not a very good time for you, then I shall come. Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's okay. It is a good time. Uh, yes. Uh, it, it is a good day. Yes. I, I, I was, I, I'm just coming out from, from the bathroom, please. I see. Yes. Uh, anyway, um, the prince, uh, the prince, if I could have. Yeah, Chilike, what is this? What am I seeing? I don't go. Ha, ha, mama, nigga. Hey, are you serious? No, I am hallucinating. Ma, I am hallucinating. I, 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 I. The head injury I had years ago is affecting me right now. The effect is evident right now. Hey, hey, hey. Udemba. Udemba. What you need to do right now is to close your eyes. Take a deep breath so that your brain can come back to normal. I am not hallucinating. It is not hallucinating, no! Hey! This is real! This is real! It has nothing to do with my damaged head! Bah! It has nothing to do with my damaged head! Hey! Arugo! Arugo! A man has sneaked into a Bubeke's house with Arugo! Please shut up your mouth! Omenka does not sneak into anybody's house! Listen! He boldly takes what he's offered. You idiot! Chuko waga ako! Chuko waga ako omenka! He boldly takes what is offered. Wogi idiot! Ola ola! Alugo! You! You allow this idiot to man to aywe ako! To inside this to set a hand in between his leg to you. Alugo! Alugo! So you are. You are now among those maidens that allow Omenka to destroy their destinies. Eh? You are one, you are not one of them. Ah! I for you! Aduko. Why in this world will you allow this to happen? So you have joined the notorious gang of useless maidens of Ekusigo who allow men like Omenka to mess up with their lives. May the go slap your mouth with that thing that is coming out of you. I am not talking to you, idiot! Hey, my friend! Hey, shut up! I am not talking to you! I will destroy this you are dead leg! Idiot! Talk to me, Aduko. Talk to me! No, no, has whatever he did to you in there suddenly taking away your voice? Um, um, Ude, Ude, please bring down your voice. Oh. No, 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 don't tell me that! The only reason this voice shall be brought down is if you assure me that your legs did not go up all the way up for this idiot to dig on. Look at this fool. Do you know that you have so much nerves to be talking about me right in my presence? Friend moves to the corner, I am not talking to you. When I'm ready to speak to you, you will, you, you will know. Idiot! My friend, talk to me. Talk to me! Did your legs Go up for this idiot or mantle. For this good for nothing popular he go to the gun. Did you let's go up on a Jangilova 
Did you like that to me? Did you like to move the enu for this idiot to the girl? Answer, my friend. Answer him. Ah! The place is here. I will bring you up to the patient there. Why is he not talking? What is going on here? Please, hey, do not tell me what my mind is thinking. Friend, I'm talking about like, come, 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 it's, it's, it's not what, what you think. Please, please, please. Uh, I don't have time for this. Look at look. It's not what you think, oh. It's not what you think. He, Kai, he, come, bit, bit. Hi. Hey. Um, Ada. Mm -hmm. You are the best. Ah. It was so tough. Hi. I just hope that we do this more often. Hmm? Mm. Mm. Um, baby prince, as you can see, it's well I'm here with you. I'm going to be a bag. It's a good one. Take your good dog with you. You idiot! You idiot! I'm going to get a bag. I'm going to get a bag. I'm going to get a bag. Don't talk! Let me think, please! It's not what you think, my prince. I. No, 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 my friend. Don't you desecrate the my prince until we confirm that the dog of Ekusigo did not contaminate you. Answer our questions. Did your legs actually go up for that empty vessel of an idiot or not? Um. Um. I I don't Hey oh, My prince I, I don't know what what he did to me. Eh? I don't know what came over me. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I, I didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean to give myself to a man. Hey. I'm awfully sorry. Ha! She did it. Hey! Please, if any of her special medicine's leg actually went up. Above her head for Menka. To the gun. To the gun. Hey, she did If any of I know the mother. Ebubeke. One of the few women of Epusigo with a strong zeal to serve the land. But there is no guarantee that this adugo will be the same thing with the mother. Have you shaked her and you are convinced that she is the one you want? Yes, Father, I have. Father, I know how badly most of our maidens behave in this kingdom. But Atugo is special. I can, I, can, I can say to you that she's even better than her mother when it comes to service rendered to the kingdom. Father, I have chosen her for myself. Good. If I do right, but it was just a few days ago you introduced this maiden as a friend. Coming here now to tell me you have decided to make her your wife. Is that not urgent and abnormal? Father, true love does not need time to prove itself. Those that don't believe in true love know not what true love is all about. Hmm. I'm impressed hearing that from my son. Uh, but there is something you need to bear in mind. The woman that you will make your wife must not be just any woman. That woman must be somebody who defines royalty. Somebody who defines purity. Somebody who defines decency. Father, trust me on this. Atugo is special. Yes. I like that. But why, why do I have this unacceptable feeling that you are in a hurry to make this maiden your wife because you don't want to lose out on another man? 
Why? Another man. Father, what man? Is it because of Omega and Okudili? Those men are like hawk who are spreading their wings on a poor hen. I, 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 I cannot tell you that they won't come after Adugo, but I am sure that they are, or rather, they do not befit Adugo's standard. Adugo can never stoop that low. Yes, and I can swear on my life. Yes, Father, yes. You can swear on your life? Yes, Father, I can swear on my life. Are you serious with this thing? <laughs> but I am serious. Good. In that case, you have my permission. Thank Start you. the planning immediately. You have my support. Thank you, Father. Thank you. I'm so happy. Yeah, but uh, there is something I... You have to wait for me to get something. Something that is connected with this move you are making now. Just hold on. So I'm back. <laughs> Take a look at this. What do you call it? Um, it looks like a bracelet. A bracelet, you are right. Take it. Um, Father, it, it looks feminine. What, what do I do with this? I remember vividly. The day my late father handed that bracelet over to me, he was meeting your mother for the very first time. And then he gave me that for her because he came to the conclusion that she was the right person for me. You see? Father, you see? Grandfather was a wise man. He recognized true love on the first day, on the very first day. Wow, Father, this is beautiful. That is why I am giving you that ancient bracelet. Okay. It is indeed a family treasure to be given by the prince to his wife. That is when the prince is absolutely convinced that she is the one for him. I am giving it to you this day because you have told me that she is the one for you. So next time you are bringing her here before me, make sure she has that bracelet on. Okay, Father. Father, you are going to love that girl. You are going to love her, trust me. Mm. <laughs> wow, this is so beautiful, like I love it. Yes, yes, yes. Isn't that the pleasant surprise you said you have for her? Eh? My prince is bringing his bride home. I know you will not do that. I know you will not offer her that. Not after what just happened. You will not do that. My prince, you deserve better than Omenka's leftover. Before my father handed this bracelet to me. I said I could swear on my life that what happened here today would never happen. For the love and trust I had for you, I would have sworn on my life. How would I be your fool this way? How would yeah. I? Yeah. I'm sorry, I swear. It happened just once. Just once. Yeah. Just once. Yeah. Who do we ask? Who do we ask? Oh, yeah, I got Hey, my baby. Hey, my prince. Let us ask the gate. The gate. Is it true? Oh, is it true that she just gave Omega was that the first time she's giving herself away? Oh, she, she, the gate did not say anything. Should we ask the cotton? Or the chairs or here? Who do we ask the job? My prince, I, I, I saw it's my life. I'm not being told. Yes, sir. I'm yeah. not being seen behind him. Yes, sir. My prince. My prince. Hey. <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll kill you here. You go come. Swagana. I know. Yes, of course. 
because I I I know that that, that, that the, the, the next king of my land, my prince and my friend will never allow that. He will never allow a loose woman to deceive him. To David That very moment you, you opened, you offered yourself to, to that ego to Menka. Whatever that was left of your dignity evaporated. Hey, you just missed a lifetime opportunity. You know what? You have to blame one person. That person is you. If not that I am good place, eh? Sue my own. No, sue me. I need me that one other sister. I need you. No, no. Hey. You, you know, you are more than a friend to me now. Um, my love, what do you mean by that? Um, it means that you are my woman now and nothing can ever come in between us. <laughs> hey! Hey, my prince, I am sorry, oh! I am sorry! Omega, oh Omega has finished to me, Omega, oh love, come on! Who <laughs> did? All they do is roam about the kingdom bragging of what they do not have. And I assume those kingdom rumors cross the same path, don't they? Did I by any chance hear you whimper or is just a bush door back in? Hmm. Omenka, even your cry can never be as loud as my whimper. Or fake it, be like you. <laughs> <laughs> what you fail to understand is that this Ofeke now has a new meaning. What this Ofeke you are looking at has achieved, you would spend your entire life struggling to keep count of. Maidens! <laughs> That's a good achievement, my brother. Very good one. A big house too. Beautiful achievement. Now, Omenka, tell me, which of these things does Oko did a lot? Which of them? Tell me. You can only keep count of those things your almost blind eyes can see in your dreams. Even in your dreams, you would agree with me that this man standing tall before you is greater than you in all ramification. So the earlier you accept that reality and bow, the better for you. Omenka, why don't we let time decide for us? Who shall submit to one another? Omenka, I want to go. <laughs> time, they say, is an excuse for the weak and hopeless. Okodele, you are a weak and a hopeless man. If time be my excuse, time will also be my truth. <laughs> Time? What is he up to now? Making plans to be a step ahead of me? No way. He will always be a step behind me. Because I am Omenka, the greatest young man of Ekusigo. Yes, I am. Omenka, onyememe. Money stop nonsense. You. Just wait a minute, you are there, Onyala. Is it me that you're insulting me, Udemba? Udemba, I'm not insulting you. I'm only telling you the truth. You Come on, look at that nonsense. What useless truth? No, no. What useless truth are you telling me? You idiot. Oh let me tell you something. Let me just, let me just tell you and hear that now. You are jealous. What I see here is jealousy. You are jealous because. The king listens to me. I'm the only one that the king listens to. So I'm seeing jealousy here. Oh, Udemba, you are a mess servant in this palace. One the, listen, the earlier you realize that, the better for you. I'm not a servant. Because you boy, you boy, just a male idiot. I am royalty by service. Not a servant. Do you know what? Lona de Afuano, you know what? Let me just say it now. As from today going forward, let me shout it so that people will hear me, so that this grief, 
this your grandmother's grave will hear me. As from today going forward, avoid me. Avo yes, avoid me. You are not my friend and you will never be. Any day in this life that you ever call me again, I swear to God, I will kill you. I will, and if I, and if, I, if I kill you, I will bury you here beside your grave. Uh, here, here, beside your damn mother's grave, I will bury you in You want to go? I will avoid you. Because I'm more important than you in this palace. I can get. I will avoid you, Onuku. I will avoid you because I'm more important in this kingdom than you. Obo. My love. Yeah. You just introduced me as a friend to your father. Did you have any problem with that? Um, not at all. I am. I am actually very excited. <laughs> the king just accepted me without any objection. That should let you know that you are indeed a woman of strong character. <laughs> Even the king knows your words. I, I am, I am very happy. Thank you, my love, for everything. I feel indebted to you. No, no, my love, no. You owe me nothing. You, you know, you are more than a friend to me now. Um, my love, what do you mean by that? Um, it means that you are my woman now and nothing can ever come in between us. <laughs> Which one? Because I, I don't understand you. Why can't you just leave me alone and understand that this is not the right time for this your rant? Why can't you understand it? You know, you, know, you call me a rant. No, no, no. Let me understand. I can't believe that you just said this to me. Oh, I am ranting. Me. Have you forgotten that I am the only man that has never stopped telling you the truth? But thank you for telling me the truth. Hmm? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Go home. Eh? Yes, go home. Stop disturbing me, please. I want to be left alone. Please. I should go. Hello. No, no. Have you forgotten that I have a room in this palace? That I can decide to remain here. Have you forgotten? If you want to remain here, then remain here. But restrict yourself to that room. Do not come here again. Do you understand me? Ah, it's me. <laughs> Very much. <laughs> Say that you mean it. I love you. Oh. 
just checking to know that I have not become a ghost. Stop with my little night. Oh, 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 oh please. Sit down. Hmm? Relax. Of course! Of course! Oh, my little menka. Relax! Yeah? Relax! His legs are yours and yours alone. So why, why get off for, for someone else? Mbo menka. Am I right? Your legs and everything in between them are hers and hers alone. Oh, I say. What do you want, you demented and paid servant? Unyala, Unyala, you think calling me that puts me off? Eh, you think? Well, let's see how put off your Omarita will be when I. When she hears what I want to tell you right now. It is better you get a seat. Because this is huge legs and everything in between them will be wombling by the time I let the black cat out of the bag. Wait, wait, wait. Out of the bag. What is that? Hey, hey, my friend, my friend, don't talk to me like that. Don't talk to me like that. I am not one of your places. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you too? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you, Onala? Fat, thank you, Ochi, that you had the sense to bring me out here. If not, today would have been the last time that that idiot will ever warm your smelly bed. Would you shut up your mouth, you unpaid, demented servant? Isn't it better? To be unpaid servant than to, to be an unrepentant womanizer who goes about destroying the destiny of him innocent ladies. You know, destroy a you destroy a freak lady, anybody, anybody for a pia 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 Swear that you did not know that Prince Ifedora was interested in that meeting. No, swear! And you would die here now. Let me get something straight. Because he's the prince, he's supposed to leave his fingerprints on everything that he touches. Oh, 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 oh. You now call her then. So, 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 she's now 18. Ha! Oh, that meeting is now 18. No, no, let me ask you, Menka. Omenka, was she also a thing when you made her lift her legs up all the way for you to satisfy this your restless torn leg? Was she also a thing? Huh? Was she also a thing? Idiot! The fact still remains that I am too big to be discussing nothing. I am Omega. I am too big for this. My friend, come back here, I'm Paula. What are you trying to do? Walk out of me? You know, Paula? You can move this now. You do it. No, 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 no. So, you want to walk out of me? Try it. Try it. Prince Fedora loved this lady with all his life. He was about giving her the symbolic, the symbolic royal bracelet that will make that maiden his wife. What are you talking about? What I'm talking is that Baba all of a sudden to just to say yes. It was about asking this maiden to marry him. All of a sudden, him, he tipped her from nowhere. Konala! From the father's heart! Huh? You took this maiden in her father's heart. You did not. Oh, you just disrespected not just the girl, not the maiden, but her father. Why are you this wicked Omeka? What is wrong with the Eva and the Abba? Idiot! Now listen to me, you unpaid servant. I owe you no explanation. Omekinaba. But if it would satisfy your broken heart, I am Omeka Ojiwobrudi. I get what I want. I wanted that maiden, and she wants me too. I gave her everything that she wants. And in reciprocation, she satisfied me. Oh, my God. 
you idiot! You idiot! We know how I satisfy you, walk you about idiot! I hate this animal. I wish, I wish I could beat him. Can't go on, Anna. I'll just, I'll make him drink dirty waters. May water for fear you just eating grass like, like, like Nama. You reciprocate. I, I made her in reciprocation. You walk on who? Idiot. May who? What did he say? Why are you disturbing yourself about what he said? He is too small to disturb a woman that I have called my own. Hmm. Have you ever called me that? That I just did. Omenka. Omenka, when will you make it official? When? At least so that the people in the village will stop talking. When, Omenka? Oh, why don't you stop disturbing yourself? Let's go inside. Hmm? Let's go inside. There are things better discussed in a room, in a controlled atmosphere. What if you no get money? If he fool you are left a message not to be disturbed. I'm sorry, my prince. Just to let you know that the food we served is in the dining. Or should I bring it here? Please, just go. Please, I don't want anything. And don't come back here again. I need you to explain to me what is going on. My son has not been himself since he came back with you yesterday. Yeah. And I gathered from the maidens that she has not accepted any food from yesterday until now. What's going on? Really? Are you serious, Your Majesty? You mean that the prince has not eaten anything since yesterday? I just told you that. I thought it was a clutch for, you know, one not to eat when he is heartbroken. My son is heartbroken? Heartbroken? Ah, no, no, ah, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 he is not. <laughs> Without can you speak? Yes, Your Majesty, he is heartbroken. He is heartbroken, yes. 
uh, you know, uh, uh, he told me the other day that that he misses the queen. You know how close they were. Remember, you know, son and mother, closeness. <laughs> oh, he's a book. Yes. He has missed her for 12 years already. But it has never been reported that he refused to eat because of that. So what is it that changed? Why now? Uh, 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 Speak! Uh, yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, I, I, I am sorry. I am sorry, you know. Uh, that I wanted to play on your intelligence. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just saying. You will be sorrier for yourself if I should blink an eye and you have not started telling me exactly what I want to hear. I know. Uh, yes, uh, 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 it, 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 it's a maiden, uh, you know. Which maiden? Uh, yes, it's a maiden. He uh, 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 was not able to, you know, tell her to marry him. What does that mean? I don't understand. My son could not tell a maiden to marry him as in that my son lost, he lost his tongue while he was there? Lost his tongue? Ha! Ah, no way! Ha! Ah, the prince! The prince! <laughs> lost his tongue! It's not possible! Ah! The prince, the prince I know is, is a bold man that can talk to anyone. Yeah, when it comes to me, the prince lost his tongue. <laughs> if I should slap you here now, you are going to lose your ear. If you fail to tell me what I want to hear, tell me what I want to hear. Uh, uh, uh. How will I ever overcome this trauma? My mother is becoming too curious and she may soon find out what happened. If Ebubeke finds out what happened here, I am finished. How will I hide this forever? Adieu, Goma! Mama! Adieu, Goma! Oh, Guinea. Oh, well, what's the problem? What troubles you? Mama, I'm fine. I'm fine. Nothing. Fine. You're fine. And you left my, my, my uh, 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 pot of a good sea soup on top of that stove to burn. Hey! Right? Oh, oh. Come back here. I've, I've already taken it down. Oh, Mama, thank you. Thank you. No, but really, is there a problem you would like to discuss with me? Problem? No, Mama, I, I'm fine. Everything is fine. How can you say you're fine when you've been like this since yesterday? Um, Mama, there is no problem. Oh. Um, Mama, I am sorry about your bone soup. Let me quickly go inside and prepare you something else to eat. Oh, see, I'm fine. When I know. She is not fine. Something is definitely wrong with this girl. Abu Muni, I should know. Why for Abu Zekani now, Mama? So, Father, you're finally up. No, oh, Father, stop making me feel like a weakling. A weakling? How could you say anything like that? You are not a weakling. Uh, this strong man will lock himself up in his chamber because a woman broke his heart. A woman broke your heart? Oh, Father, don't give me that look. I know that you've made them about to tell you everything. That silly boy. Didn't you agree that we should keep it a secret? He told you? Father, Demba cannot betray me with such. He tells me everything. Uh, I just wish everybody in this kingdom would be as loyal as Udenba. So how do you feel now? You feel better? Father, I feel horrible and ashamed. Why? To think that I was prepared to swear on my life for her loyalty. It's already confirmed that every maiden in this kingdom is a mess. Have you seen her since then? What for? 
You know, maybe to find out why she would put herself in the mess in the first place. Come on, Father. I don't want to see her again. I don't have anything to do with her anymore, Father. Listen, I am not asking you to go trying to reconcile with her. You need to find out why what happened happened. You know, if you get to know who Omenka is, you will discover that that maiden. Please, Father, please. Are you trying to tell me that Omenka used this charm on her? Come on. Listen, you don't have to underestimate Omenka. Omenka is a desperate man of a Pusigo kingdom who can go to any extent to achieve whatever he wants to achieve. Then congratulations to him. You can probably add, um, add Adugo to his cohort of loose maidens. I don't want her anymore. Be my father. Um, I don't think I need this anymore. I think it's not the right time for this. Please. The right one and the right time will come. Till then, brother. Yeah. Are you not supposed to sit down and have a chat with your father some more? Oh, you know you're very bad in this therapy. I, I will be fine on my own, please. Money's the poor nonsense, yo. It's a day, it's a London, But if you don't get money, if he fully were you are the one who blew things out of proportion. As you can see, I am trying to pick the broken pieces of my life. So leave me alone. Leave you alone. Leave me alone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Leave you alone. Leave you alone when you have crippled my prince with your charm. Eh? You think I don't know? Do you want me to slap you before, before you know that I'm not here for any joke? Crippled the prince? What do you mean by that? Uh, yes! Ever since he saw that abomination, he has never taken anything. My prince has never taken anything. I know why. Because you evolved charm to make him restless. And, 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 and then he will come back to you. When well, he's restless, he will not come back begging. Think I don't know? Udemba, listen and listen carefully. I am not involved in any charm. I know. I come to watch out. Yes, sir. Yes, I can get your charm. I can get your charm. I know. I was not, I was never expecting you to accept it. Hmm. But I am warning you here and now. Undo what you did, or I'll be forced to run you out of Ekusigo. I am not going to tell you this again. Idiot! 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 Even as a gabble bob. Majesty is not going to change his mind about this, is he? You are wondering why I invited you, right? In a way, yes I am, Your Majesty. Well, it is not in my place to stop you from imagining the Okolo Sonze Lee of Ekusigo. That is the young man who wines and dines with the elders. It is indeed a glorious title. And it is one only on merit. And from what I have gathered, you have passed every single test required. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. I'm so happy. This is very reassuring. Yeah, but, but there is a reason I called you here, as the OB of Epusigo, to clarify some things for your better understanding. As I said already, the title is not just a physical thing, it's that it is equally a spiritual thing. And that is why at any point in time in Ekusigo, only one youth will hold that title. And that will make you understand how important the title is to us. Odezulibo. Who is now Ishii Odezulibo. For the mere fact that he is married, 
He was the one that held that position years back. And his reign as the Okolo Sonzeli of Yokusigo was actually very glorious. His era was actually a reference point of what an Okolo Sonzeli should be in Yokusigo. You witnessed his reign, didn't you? Of course I did, Your Majesty. I did. And that brings me to the question that I want to ask you. The same question I should ask every prospective man that wants to emerge the Okoro Sonzeli of Eupusigo. And the question is very simple. What plans do you have in place to ensure that the legacy of all the departed Okoro Sonzeli are preserved? I am not expecting you to give me an instant answer. It is indeed a very deep question. And I want you to go home, ponder on it over and over again, and then have an answer and come back to me. Well, Your Majesty, I, I've been having meetings with um, Ichio Desulibo, and he has hinted me of what is required of me as a colossal area of uh, Ekusigo. Your Majesty, I will take your advice. I shall go. I will think more about it. I will put my thoughts together and um, I will come back to you, Your Majesty. Good. Thank you very much. Good. You take your time and think about it. Then you come back to me with an answer because I need to know the plans you have for the kingdom as the Okoro Sonzeri. Thank you very much. Okoro Sonzeri. One year to the Titia, O Solundin Zeraba Piam. Yet you are the Titty, Solundin Zeriba. Manoche go walk. My friend, my prince, I got talking with that Dunko. I have told her to undo the charm. I'm just putting you on notice because you are my prince and my friend. You understand? If she fails to do what I asked her to do, I will run her. In fact, I will run her out of Ekusigo. You are not making any sense. What charm are you talking about? Ah, yes. Whatever charm that has transformed you into a Luna is not good for anybody. It's not good for you, my prince. It's not good for anybody at all. Therefore, we must square up to her. Is it ever possible for you to start minding your business? Ah, hey, my prince. My prince. <laughs> your business is my business. There's no way I can. I, I will continue to mind it. <laughs> my business has nothing to do with you. Do you understand? So stop going to the meetings to, to talk about me. Huh? And I am not under the influence of any charm. Udemba. Let this not happen again. Are you serious? No, no, are you the one saying? But bro, you are not the one saying it. Are you serious? That you are not under the influence of any... Aye. My prince, I cannot sit there and then watch a dude to continue to get your soul. And you are restless. And you want me with them to do nothing. Or do possible. It is your soul that is restless. You are an idiot. You see, you better leave this man if I will slap you into coma. Nobody do it at GPP. Are you mad? Oh, get out from here! Wait, wait, wait. Then I'm trying to help my friend and my prince. No, I did. What? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Fine. No, no, no. It's fine. I should get out. No, I don't. Whoa. Then, but you go. Yeah, you are gone. How? What do you do? It's like this boy. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, wait, wait. No, I, I, I didn't hear that. Are you now talking the prince? By the way, what are you doing here? Judging from what you were saying in there, you don't even know much. I don't even know much. Is that an insult or what? 
Who them by who them by? Don't even know. Fine. What is it that I never didn't know? Charles cannot get anyone under the royal banner. Not to talk of the prince. You should know that. Jiru, Jiru. What is this idiot claiming? That she knows more than me? She is very worried about you, Aduba. You know you are all she's got. I never asked my mother to be worried about me. And I wonder why she came to you. Adugo. Not knowing what worries you, troubles your mother. She came to me because she knows I am your friend. That is why she came to me. Come on, my friend. Let it out. Let it all out. You have a listening ear in me. Together we will solve this problem. Okay? Let it out, my friend. How was I supposed to know that he would ask me to marry him? I mean, I know he likes me. But who was thinking of marriage? Marriage? And who are you talking about? The friends! <gasps> Adugo, you are crazy! You mean Prince Ifedora proposed to you? And that is the reason why you have been moody? Ha <laughs> ha! God knows I will jump at it if I wasn't a lover and adorer of my Omenka. <laughs> oh my God. Sorry, did I say something wrong? Don't you ever mention that name again! I don't ever want to hear his name again in this house. He ruined my life. He ruined my future. My Omeka ruined your life? What has Omeka got to do with anything? Were we not just talking about Prince Ifediora proposing to you? He was about to propose to me until he found Omeka with me. Adogo, you must be joking, right? Jokes? Really? You wanted so desperately to know why I have been moody. And now you've known. All you could think of is jokes. Really? Wait, Adugo. Let me go faster than you. When you said that Prince Ifedora met you with Omenka, what exactly were you trying to say? <gasps> oh my God. Adugo. Oh, I do go not with my Omeka now. Hey! Oh, oh. What do you mean by your Omeka? <gasps> oh, no way. You have been doing it with him too? Omeka, oh, onyememe. Money stop nonsense, yo. It's a day, it's a London, Zeriba. What did you talk to her? What did she say? Your daughter is the most horrible person I've ever known in my entire life. She's a backstabber! What do you mean by my daughter is a backstabber? What is he coming? It's a day, go. If you could look again, well, Nkem, between the last time we saw and now, I've been to the king again, and all he said for me to take the title of Okorosun Zeri. Congratulations. Obim, Obim, please don't give me the, this wrong vibe, please. This means so much to me. Please. 
I don't see why. Other than your desire to outdo Omenka in your very unhealthy rivalry. Why can't both of you grow up already? Are both of you the only youths in Ekusigo? Can't you borrow a leaf from the likes of Chibundo, Odogo and the rest of them? You and Omenka have been rivals since childhood. Are you not tired? Oh, Obin, please. Trust me, this is not about Omenka. It's not. It has nothing to do with Omenka. This is about me. It's about my life. We are, it's about my life we are talking about. This is what I want for myself. I want to make a name for myself. Please. I don't want to end up like my father did. I don't. Fine. I totally do understand you do not want to end up like your father. But then again, it is high time you started thinking of making mega money. You should be thinking of settling down. Having your own family. Rather, you want to be the most recognized youth in the kingdom. Are you going to be a youth forever? Answer me. Listen, Okudili, I have told you countless number of times that there are opportunities here in Niwi. There are lots of money to be made here. Mega money and not the kind of money you will make from grabbing and selling of lands. Oh, Mkem, but that's not the only thing I do. It's not. I have a palm plantation, okay? And recently, I've also diversified to get women to cook palm oil for me. Isn't that enough? Okudili, I know all of those. I know you have this, you have that, you have that, but then again, none of them can amount to the kind of money you will make here in a newy. Oh, Uncle, oh, oh, enough of this now. Enough! I, I, I've had enough of this. See, I am tired of you trying to impose yourself and ideas into my life. I am tired, please. You chose the kind of life you want to live in in Newi. Fine, I did not interfere. I chose the kind of life I want to live in Ekusigo. What can't you let me be? Period. I believe I'm a village boy. And I'm doing good. What is it? Ah. My intention wasn't to get you mad. The thing is, how can we work when we live separately? I live here in Imewi, and you live in Ikusiko. How are we going to start our own family? How can we work? Obi, I did not come here to start going through all these things with you again. No. The ceremony is in a fortnight. And I thought I should let you know. That is it. She spoke to me direct without mincing words. You could actually tell she was in pain when she was talking to me. Now tell me what happened. Mother, I don't know what she acted before you. But what I know for sure is that Chetachi is not worth our time, so forget about her. What is actually going on? To the best of my knowledge, Chetachi is the only friend that you have. You've been friends from childhood. So what is going on that both of you cannot even talk about each other? Nothing is going on. She's a backstabber. Exactly the same words she used about you. So what's actually happening here? Who is stabbing who? Um. Mother, please tell me what you want to eat so that I can get it ready. Eh? Mama, Mama, Are you questioning me? Did you do it, Omenka? Did you? She is actually questioning me. You are questioning Omenka of Ekusigo. You loved me. You made me promises 
Omega. And yet he went behind my back to sleep with my friend Omega. How could you? Come on here. I am Omega, the powerful man of Ekusigo. The one who has advanced to the level of dining with the top and mighty. The one whose money frightens his age mates. Everyone wants to identify with me. Don't you know that? You told me you loved me. You told me you're nothing without me. You said your whole world revolves around me, Omeka. Omeka has given you myself. The whole of me. Omeka, tell me. What is it you see in Aduko that you do not see in me, Omeka? What? I understand. You see, I'm a famous man. Everybody loves me. I cannot control those who come close to me. But you know what? I can actually control who I give my heart to. I have chosen you. So whatever thing I do with anyone, does not matter because you're my best. I'm your best, you say? I'm your best! You two follow that do go to her father's heart. My love, don't sound too sure over something you did not even witness. Omega, look into my eye. Can you swear that you did not do it? Can you? My love, can you also swear that everything you hear is true? Can you? Come on, come on. Mm? Ah, I hate to see you cry. You see, I think there is something else that I should do to make you calm down. Mm? Mm. You're my best. Mm, I don't make you cry. Why don't we go inside? Omalicham. Mm? Omalicham. Oh, you. Let me close. I don't like you crying. Omegi Walugo, how many times will you continue to count census in all the maidens in this kingdom? Omega, What if you no get money? What if sort of a joke is that? A joke? You think this is a joke? Because Uncle Dele cannot make me a step behind him. Whatever he has achieved, I would achieve even more. That is how our lives have been. In the worst case scenario, we will both be at the same level. Even you can testify to the fact that between Okudiri and I, I am the greatest. At the moment, it seems so. What if he becomes the number one youth in Ikusigo? What makes you think that it would be possible for him to be the number one youth of Ikusigo? Onuzulibu. Now Ichi Onuzulibu had grew that position long time ago. And someone needs to fill in that space. I agree with you. But why must that person be with him? Well, maybe because he made his intention known to the king and the king has mentioned it that the ceremony will take place in the fortnight you know i can't still believe that you are hearing this for the first time omenka why don't we let time decide for us who shall submit to one another omenka ibuanugu this is not what he's talking about. What else? Are you still with me? Oh. Okudeli cannot get that post. Come to think of it, how can he 
even hosts the youths. Have you forgotten that he has a woman who works at Newi? She is so rich and she has connected him to men of money. Eh? I think it's time you give up. Because no one dares challenge the Okolo Sonze Eri of Ekusigo. Okolo Sonze Eri. Yes. Onye tire titia osolundi nzera bapiam. Your silence is killing me. Say something. You are a disgrace to Medinwood. How about that? I can't believe this. I thought I brought you up properly. Eh? Did I bring you up to be this news? No, answer me. So what is it? How could you, Adugo, how could you bring in a man into your father's house and allow him to have his way with you? Who does that? M -m Mother, it happened just once. Whether it happened once, twice or fifty times, does it really matter? The important thing is that it happened and it shouldn't have. I could put my hand anywhere and say that I brought you up properly. Why are you bringing this disgrace to me? Eh? Ha! God, you gave up your pride. Your pride, your womanhood, disgracefully. And not just that, eh? You humiliated your late father and I by bringing in a man under his roof to have him have his way with you. How do you describe that? Mother, I, I, I don't know what's happened. I don't know how he did it. Oh. Mother, please, forgive me. You don't know what he did to you. You do not know what he did to you. And you want me to forgive you. Does forgive you cut it? Does it rectify anything? Ha! I do go. You're an embarrassment. You allowed a man drive his, his motor through you. Do you know what that means? That man that everybody knows is a caterpillar. Oh, it seems you don't know how it happened. How happened, Gunny? My dear, do you know the most embarrassing and the worst of it all? Is that you've lost the opportunity of being the queen of this kingdom. Yes! Hi, I do go one. Once a cracked pot, always a cracked pot. No matter how much you patch it, that crack will always be there. I do go one. You're a cracked lady. I know all the man can find a zoom inside and a zoom out. Mother, please. Please, please, Onye tire titia osolundi nzera bapya Etie ge titi isolundi nzeri ba Manoje go woku Never do that. Oh, he would. He's a decent man. <laughs> He's only decent when you are around him. What do you think would happen when you're not around? I would suggest you agree with the false truth that your heart tells you. Hold on a second. You actually invited me to come all the way just to hear you talk ill about my boyfriend. 
Hey, 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 it is not funny. It is funny. Your boyfriend indeed. You see, your level of innocence and ignorance is even funnier. When you look at me, what do you see? Do you see a man who has absolutely nothing to do but to sit and gossip people? You spend greater part of your life out of this town. Then I ask you, what do you think would happen when you are out there? You enslave yourself for those useless rich merchants in Inewi. Hmm. You sure do have something bad to say about everyone. Now tell me, what's wrong have the merchants done to you? That would be a discussion for another day. But let me quickly ask you, are they not still the one keeping you away from your so-called boyfriend? What exactly do you want? You want me to break up with my boyfriend simply because he's indecent and disrespects me? Or you want me to resign from my place of work, come back to the village and watch over my man? No. What I want you to understand is that you're smart and special. You deserve more than that idiot called Okudale. All he does is to take your money and flaunt around with those useless girls in this kingdom. The one he wants to do now is to milk you dry to take the title. <laughs> that will make more girls follow him. Hmm? May the gods bless your foul mouth for confessing that I am smart. I am equally smart enough to know that coming here was a total waste of time. And I will tell you that it will be a total waste of time if you fail to add on what I told you. If I would advise you, you should sit down, observe things before you give him the money to waste on a vain title. Hi. Shame on me. Shame on me for giving a man like you respect by honoring your call. Big shame on me. Deadhead. You are even worse than I thought. Gossip mouth. A woman. Yeah. Putting his mouth like a woman. What are you doing here? What are you doing here now? What am I doing here? Yes, because there was no plan of you coming in today. I mean, the ceremony is yet not until seven days. And you're here. You're right. I should have called before visiting. Elsa will catch you with one of the maidens you're messing around with. What? What? Where is this coming from now? But not to worry. I'll remember to inform you next time. If anything, to save my heart from breaking. Uh -uh. Why are you talking this way? You you sound strange. Oh, is um, one of them waiting inside as we speak? One of? One of who? Shh! Don't even say a word. Henceforth, I care less. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't tell me you came all the way here to rehearse a drama you have been practicing for me. Is it what it is? Good job then. 
Now tell me, what trophy should we get for you? Which one? Okay, okay. What is the problem? What is it? Please, Obi. How I have been a fool! How you have plagued me all these years! I see it. Now I understand the reason you have refused to join me at Newi. Just so you can stay back and mess around with one of those maidens, isn't it? And tell me who has been feeding you with all these lies. Who? How could you deny the allegation? You are smarter than this now. You are smarter than this. Deny it, Okudili. Deny the allegation. Look me in the face and swear that none of those maidens come here to visit you. Nkwam. Maidens. They always go where they love to go. Yes. But the question is, what do they do when they visit? to lie to save my heart. You know what is more humiliating? To have your enemy say to my face how you've been living. You claim you're better than he is, but guess what? Both of you are birds of a feather. Omenka! Omenka! What has he got to do with anything? Okay, please. Please, please. I'm so sorry, please. Nay, you are among the women that I respect so much in this kingdom. Why are you putting me in the position to insult you? Evidently, you have so much respect for me. And that is why you took my daughter right under my roof. <laughs> you know, now I'm smiling because I know my enemies want to put me down. Why would I take your daughter under your roof? Am I homeless? I'm not here for questions and answers. If my daughter is good enough to be laid with, then she must be good enough for you to marry her. Adugo is a beautiful woman. I have no doubt that every man would jump at her feet just to make her his wife. But I'm sorry I am not interested. I did not live with your daughter. What? Omeka, what did you just say? No reasonable maiden will lie with something of this magnet. Why are you doing this to yourself? You know I can comfortably make you my woman without you bringing all these allegations against me. Omeka, how can you deny me? Prince Ifedora is a witness and his friend Udemba too. Are they? Now tell me. What part do they play? Helping to shut the door for us? Or did they help to undress you? Or probably they assisted in raising your legs up for me? You know, you're actually worse than I thought. But I must assure you of one thing. You're not going to get away with it. Ne, take your daughter home. Let her tell you the truth. In my capacity as Omenka, I am done with both of you. My love. Ebubeke is not the type of woman you tell of just like that. She will come back. And she will come back in her full capacity as Ebubeke. Will you shut up? What are you now? Her spokesperson or you are here to threaten me? I am Omenka. Men who are men are afraid of me. What more can a woman do to me? I don't know. But I know Ebubeke. I just told you the truth about her. To hell with the truth. Now listen to me, the next time you tell me about anybody, I will make you discover why I am called Omenka, the unknown. I'm telling you the truth. He lied. And that's how he got me. Everyone in this village knows that, know that Omenka is a liar. And you unintelligent daughter of mine. You gave yourself to him freely. And he took it. 
and the stupid man that lied against you was still lying against you and you couldn't even say anything. You couldn't even defend yourself. Eh? But if he's to talk back at your mother, the whole neighborhood would hear your voice. So we have a problem from one decimal two five nine. Come on, move out. There is no justification for what I did. But honestly, I never knew you and an Omeka are a thing. You did not tell me. What other telling do you want, Adjuko? No, no, no. What other telling? I go to Omeka's house every other day. You can't tell me you don't know about that. Chetachi, maidens like Omeka. He is friends with a lot of them. As your friend, you could have at least mentioned it to me that something special is going on between you and Omenka. And, and I, I thought he was just... I am not just anything, Adugo. I am his woman. Omenka's woman! I, I am deeply sorry. I never knew how many people have hurt in a single act. I couldn't resist him. He seemed to be into me. Oh, please, 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 please. Don't just add salt to injury. I am a woman, Adugo. And I know exactly what it takes for a man to get down with a woman. Anyways, you have apologized. And I have forgiven you. Only because you never knew that Omeka and I have a thing. But now that you know, you must promise me here and now that you will never, ever go close to him henceforth. Personally, I don't want to have anything to do with him. But my mother said I must... Oh, forget what your mother said, Adugo. Forget what she said. She is only being a mother. I mean, she can't even force you to be with a man that you don't want to be with. Or, do you want to be with Omenka? I don't even want to see his face Good. again. Good! Perfect! Now tell me, what have you done with the prince? The prince? The prince. He's the last person I ever want to talk about right now. No, Adugo. No! You have to win your man back. Win my man back? Yes. How possible could that be after what he saw? Did he really see anything? Did he? Hi! Oh, Adugo. Adugo, I thought you were smarter than this now. Eh? How could you have let Prince Ifedora see Omenka in your house? How? Okay, even when he saw Omenka, why did you even accept that anything happened? Why? <sighs> well, if you really want Prince Ifedora back, I will personally help you get him back. Are you? Yes. That is the least I can do to keep you away from my man. The highest will be sending you to your early grave. Are, are you going to help me? You're not talking. Talk to me. Look, you cannot compare Omeka with Okudili. Just imagine this. Omeka, Okudili. There is no balancing now. Uh, Never. Never. Look Never. at this one. <laughs> hey, my dear, <laughs> let me tell you. There is just no way both of them will be competing if they are not comparable. It's a lie. The only reason they fight is because Omeka has refused to understand that Okujili is way better than him. Yes, Oku. Only an hour. Okay, the legs are better than him. See, let me tell you. Tell me. It's just because you've spent more time with Okudele, that is why you know that. You can say that again. But I'm telling you that I have also spent quality time with Omenka to know what caliber of man he is. There's no need to shout. Now, let me ask you. So, tell me, what else can you say about him? He's good in bed, isn't he? My dear, he is so. <laughs> eh? 
that and many, many more. Many more. Yes, now. I see. Yes, so tell me, mm -hmm. what about Tofu Dele? Although I can tell from the size of his big head that he's very lousy in there. Don't even go there. <laughs> Look, my friend, you cannot judge a house by the signs written on the wall. Allow those who have entered the innermost chambers to tell you the inscriptions written on it. <laughs> yes, I'm a living testimony. <laughs> you were. You by were experience, good. I know what I'm saying. <laughs> Who is she doing that? Hey, now? Why is she doing that? Hello, for what? What is she even doing in Ekosigo? What is she doing here? I, I hope she has not been sacked from that a useless job. Because I won't have her come to this kingdom and come and compete with me over Okujili. I won't have it. Look at this girl. Oh. She don't want to give my I you on my side. Are we not friends? Your side indeed. See, let me tell you. Eh? She is the owner of the fish. Really? You are just one sneaky cat. I know. But she's just wasting her time. Mm. She's wasting her time because Oku Dili that I know is a typical village man. Mm -hmm. I don't want to settle for this um, self-acclaimed city maiden. No, he won't do that. Hey, Kanira. Well, everybody can dream. Mm? So, any Dream on. Dream. 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 Every time you be competing, Omeka, Okujili, Omeka, Okujili. He came all the way just to sort out things with you. You shouldn't have turned him away. Coming all the way does not make him innocent. I know. But why would you even? Take whatever you heard from his enemy seriously. What about the ones I heard from the maidens? You believe every other person and not your man? Is that wisdom? I have known you for two years now. And from the kind of work you have done for different clients and entities, I can say that you are very intelligent. My dear, I want you to see the truth in this. My approach to business is totally different from my approach to my personal life. You love this man. Don't you think he deserves another chance? I can't even look him in the face. I am hurting. I can't even deny that I'm hurting. I can feel the pains inside my bones. Understand? All I can say to you is do not throw away what you have built all your life just because of a little crack. Most times, it is better to mend Have taken this time to come if I were you. I'm See, telling you. I told you. <laughs> Is he really expecting me? Of course. Of course. Why will he not expect you? Eh? How often do a man get their love interest cheaply, give their pride away to another man? How often? It's not possible. Let me tell you, Prince Iodora is very proud of you. I'm telling you, he's very proud of you. And he has been dying to set his eyes on you again. <laughs> Adugo, don't listen to him. He feels he knows something. But he is just being a big fool. A fool. Don't let this idiot that get to you. Don't. Let's go. Go where? Go where? Go where? The only fool I see here is that maiden that instead of holding on to that man that's 
that has taken away the womanhood from her. But allow a jealous friend to bring her to, to that man simply because she wants the man all by herself. That's the only fool I see here. Idiot. Let me tell you something. A noble maiden will question the love of a man that goes behind her to mess up with other maidens. I'm telling you. And I look around here. The only fool I see are two foolish and shameless maidens. Adugo, don't let him get to you. Let's go. Let's go. Adugo, run. Run. Run, Papa. Adugo, run, run. Run far away! Go. I run and never come back again! That is what you should do! Run! Oh, it's not the wagon, ma! Eh? Are you sure you are okay? You should be running too. I expect you to start running. You must be very, very proud of yourself right now. Of course! Onyara. A good Onyara. can really make a man proud! Don't you me. idiot! Go. You idiot! Run, idiot! Ah, yes, I'm proud, yes! A good can actually make a man proud! Unala! Idiot! I ask, where do these idiots breathe from? I suppose they breathe from in between their legs. This is where they breathe from. Nyala! Idiot! 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 I do go. I do go. You were this close to doing it. Eh? You shouldn't have let that senseless Udemba discourage you. Everything he said was true. I shouldn't have listened to you. Really? So now I'm a bad person because I want you to have your man back? Why would he want me back after everything that happened? Nothing happened, I do go. Nothing! I have told you never to accept to anything happening. So. Will that change the fact that something happened? Huh? Fine! Good! I can lie to others, but can I lie to myself? This guilt weighs me down. For how long will I continue to pretend like nothing happened? How? Okay, fine. I understand. But Adugo, you have to calm down. Calm down! I have another plan. What plan? You have to promise me first that you will not let what happened back there weigh you down. Promise me, Adugo. Promise me. Okay, I am listening. Your Majesty, as a youth of this great kingdom, who has contributed immensely to the growth and the well-being of this kingdom. I feel my input will be required before certain decisions will be made. I agree with you. Actually, in this kingdom, we run an all-inclusive policy. And that is why all contributions, I mean valid contributions, are welcome. Hey, Your Majesty. I feel it's not right to confer that title on Okudele that will make him emerge the leader of the youth of Ekusigo. Well, we have gone beyond that point. It is not a decision we just woke up one morning and, and made. We made series and series of consultations. The leadership of the town union and the leadership of the Women's Assembly, we are all consulted. And we came to the conclusion that Okudele indeed deserves to be given that title. With all due respect, Your Majesty, what has Okudele contributed in this kingdom? I'm sorry, Menka, but you are trying to smuggle politics into this. Mm. And I will advise you to stop. Politics will destroy Okusigo. And I don't want that to happen.
I am so angry at myself. How could I not see that Okudele would rise to the level of pulling such a stunt? I am still surprised that you are thinking like this, Omeka. I mean, you have already positioned yourself in our Ekusi Go stone quarry as the highest speed. Why not leave Okudili alone and enjoy your money? Money is not everything, Odogu. Amongst the things that define a man, status is the prominence. What are you saying? What I am saying is that if I allow Okudiri to take that title, that means he has won. You won't tell me that I will fight all this battle and allow that little brat to win. No, that can never happen. Omenka, is this how you see this thing? Is this really a battle to you? It is. Because as I speak to you right now, he has Unkwa Chikwere at his beck and call. That so-called Unkwa Chikwere that I wanted. So he would imagine my leader as Okoro Sonziri. <laughs> it will not happen. Omenka. Mm. But there is nothing wrong with that. Eh? Let him be. Mm. When it is time, eh, we will sit him down and let him know how the youth government will run. Yes. Huh? That would be over my dead body. What I want you to do right now is to go home and allow me think. I am Ominka. I am among the men that rules the star. Ominka, I should go home. You heard me. Yeah. Am I being made to understand that my daughter is, has lost her senses? Okay, let me put it this other way. Is it the way I brought you up? Or are you just an unfortunate child or totally senseless? Genko? Mother, it has nothing to do with you. Uh -huh. So, let me now assume now that you're unfortunate or need just stupid. You're telling me, nay, that you went to the palace to apologize to the prince to take you back. Ewenyewe, take you back as what? As a maiden in the palace? As a matter of fact, the maiden in the palace has more dignity than you do. Mom, can Kowale is something that you might not have heard of. Do you know that in Ekusigo land, when a goat starts eating, a tuba of yam and doesn't finish it. No other goat will touch that tuba of yam. It's either the first goat that started eating it goes back to finish the tuba of yam, or the tuba of yam is left to rot. I felt a little apology, my. Show me, me, show me, A little apology, might what? You should have thought of that before Ijebeba. Why can't you for once act like a child that came out of my womb? Do you know that in this land now, not even a madman on your would want to have anything to do with you? I can't do nearly for the uniform. I'm not for the overnight. I'm going to see if fully or cause yes, or kiss is yes now. My daughter, you have just two options. It's either the man who sued you or something. Continues the insulin, eh? Or you stay single. The choice is yours. Choose in Kato. Suluin or single.
Ah. <laughs> Has it been long here? Yes, it's been long. Yeah. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Mm. I'm a very patient maiden, especially when it comes to you. <laughs> <laughs> Has it been a very busy day? Busy, hectic, and I'm starving. Oh, is it starving? Yes. Are you cooking also? Can you you know what? What? You shall give me a few moments, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. I shall hurry home and get you something to eat. I will be sitting there mm -hmm. at that same position when you were to. Really? Mm -hmm. Sit still. <laughs> Money stop nonsense, yo. It's a day go, it's a London Zeriba. What if you no get money? If you fully were. I do go, ma. My one and only daughter. Who reminds me of Benson Okunka, my husband of blessed memory? Where have you gone? What must I do to bring her back to the decent girl she used to be? <sighs> You know exactly what I want to hear. You made me promises, and I'm holding you onto your promises. Tell me what I want to hear, and leave the rest to me. You see, I wanted you to... And here she comes, with exactly what she promised. Yes, my love. Mm. And I made it exactly the way you love it. <laughs> you see, I have no doubt whatsoever that you know the way to my heart. Oh, thank you so much, my love. <laughs> and I guess some people don't even have an idea the kind of bond we share. <laughs> um, why don't I go inside and wash hands so that we get down with this? Um, no, 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 there will be need for that. I will get you some water to wash your hands. Okay. I know. What is she doing here? She said she wants to talk to me. Talk to you? About what? I don't know. She barely came in when you arrived. And she... My love, please. Adugo, I'm talking to you. What was that back there? Eh? What? You are asking me what? Oh, 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 okay. It's making sense now. So the reason you have refused to talk to me all this while was because you've been planning to snatch my man away from me. Eh? Do you know what your problem is? You are delusional. The fact that you cook for him does not make him your man. And you? Do you think seducing him into your father's heart once makes you anything to him? I think it. Allow him to decide on that. <laughs> hey! Oh, Really? We should allow my man decide. You must really think in your small mind that you stand a chance. Okay? <laughs> and you also think in your big mind that you stand a chance too, isn't it? <laughs> Why are you bent on saying that Prince Fedora and I get back together? Why does my presence around Omenka set your heart on racing? What are you scared of? Truth does not need a lot of words. Like I said, allow him to choose whom he wants to be with. Today was a good day. Pick a fight with me again. Be it directly or indirectly. 
And I will teach you how to really fight for a man. Look at me. I don't rant. I do go, don't play with fire. Don't! <laughs> my friends, my friends. Ukut, Ukuru Sumzi retitle should not naturally attract a lot of attention. <laughs> no, 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 my brother. There you get it all wrong. See, let me tell you something. Okoro Sunzeri is a very great title, very great one. And for a man like me to emerge the youth leader of Ekusigo, ah, it's a very serious matter, yeah. very serious one. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, let me ask you. Is that the reason why you have planned to slaughter four cows? Joya. All because of this? <laughs> you can say that again. I can even increase it to ten if I want. Two? Yes. Ten. I'm capable of it. Specifically, a brewing company will be at the town hall to entertain our people. Let me put it my dream. I will just go to the palace, take the title. Hmm? I will shut the possible down. What could it be? Yes. This whole money you are spending is just a waste. Because I would have strongly advised you to use that money to plan marriage for your woman. Hey! None that you have talked about marriage. That brings me to the question that I've been meaning to ask you. Okay. Now what could that be? Where is your woman? Why is she not here? Um, you all know my woman. She's a very busy person in her way. Besides, she doesn't like our village politics. So I feel I like should just let her out. Mba. Mba. That is not the right thing for you to do. Yes. Eh? You should keep your woman close to you. Mm. And let me tell you this. Ominka mm. has his eyes on her. All oh, this wife. <laughs> Odogu, I'm gonna. Let us not even discuss that. Please. We all know that Unkwa, she's in a class above Ominka. Oh. Tell him. In spite of the fact that Ominka, he's a man of many tricks. But in spite of all his tricks, he still cannot get Unkwa. Well, my friend, I. Odogu, where is all this coming from? Where? You want to know? Omenka specifically told me this oh. himself. What? You see? Yes. But uh, let's forget about all this, eh? Well, let's just forget about that and plan your day. Uh, uh, so yes. where do we come in now? I did you Uh, Omenka the Great, uh, as you know that I'm radio without battery in this kingdom. And from what I've gathered from that Udemba of a person, uh, the ceremony is going to be a short one and a very small one at the palace. And Okudili has already planned to gather all the whole youths at the village town hall to spoil them. With money, with drink, everything. Why are you sounding as if you're so excited about this whole thing? Ha! Oh my God, the great. I'm, 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 I'm happy. In fact, I'm so happy. Do you know that Okudili has already arranged and planned to get four cows, Efiano, Efiano, to be slaughtered that day. If you get now, I'm not a day. That's how you people are deceived. Yeah. Do you know how much you owe me? Even if I decide to auction you now, it will not pay your debt. I might decide that you should pay me right here and now. Uh, uh, Omenka, I'm sorry if I got you uh, upset. I'm sorry. My money won't be in the wee walk. On a on a go kuno. I'm sorry. In fact, let me make it up to you. I will not attend attend that ceremony. I will not. I will not. I will not be there. Hmm. I don't want any problem with you or anything that will come between us. Omenka the Great. 
You are the boss. I'm sorry. Listen, Mrs. Sendubweze. If I don't know you, I would have accused you of having your eyes on my man. Thank God you know me very well. And that I don't have time for such. You are my friend. I am just being concerned about you. So your being concerned is to constantly come preach about Okudili. He's refused to become the man I want him to be. And I will not stop trying. I have made inquiries about the title they want to confer on him. And I don't think they would want to do so if he is not man enough like you claim. If this effort is to lure me to attend that ceremony, I am sorry, I will not go. And what if it is a lucrative office, just like he has said? It is not making any sense to me. I want my man to be productive. I want him to have his own money and not dwell on some kingdom's revenue. Men who are men always put their differences aside and fight a common enemy when one arises. I believe this is the time for you to prove to me that you are a man. And who is this? He's Omenka. The same Omenka who has spent his entire life building a Pusigo. In one very short sentence, tell me why you're calling my number. I want you to be the one to stop this madness. Okudeli must not emerge the Okoro Senzeri of Ekusigo. <laughs> Listen to me, you fool. Okudiri is already everything you can ever become in your entire miserable life. And he's getting that by tomorrow. If you don't like it, <laughs> then go to hell. Idiot. We all know why we are here. For something very important. To fill the vacant position of Okoro Sunzeri of Ekusigo. Very important position indeed. Ishi Udoka, Your Majesty, as the president of the town union government, I need you to give us the word of support from the town union before we can continue with this. Your Majesty, the executive of the town union has already approved this ceremony. Okudili here is ably qualified to be the overall youth leader, the Okoro Sonzeli of Okusigo Kingdom. Well, Okudili, I will um, ask you to talk to us. Yes, already. You have communicated to me personally. But that is not enough. I want you to speak to the people that are here gathered. You need to tell us how committed you are towards uplifting and maintaining the legacy of the past holders of the office you are about to resume today. Thank you, Your Majesty. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Or this? Well, I, Okudele, am committed 
to the legacy of the past holders of this office. <laughs> Ekusigo is my only land. I can call my land. Hey. Thank you very much. Yeah. Let me promise you one thing. As a man of power, I will continue to build Ekusigo to become a reference point. That is my word to you. Hey. 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 The time is now. Just like you said, the executive of the town union has approved it. And even the leadership of the women assembly, they have equally approved. Therefore, nothing is stopping us. Your Majesty. <laughs> you may step forward. Yeah, Okuo. It's going to be A child who says his mother will not sleep will never know the sense of good sleep. Because it's only in the land of the dump that the finger is used to point at the moving danger. Since you have refused to submit to me in life, do well to submit to me in your grief. <laughs> talking about here. Do I know? You tell me. It was a miracle you survived the attack and that you're still breathing today. The head of the medical team who attended to you at the teaching hospital confirmed to me that what happened to you was beyond medical science. The attacker wanted you dead. Again? And you assume Daomenka was my attacker, right? I am not assuming. You are not assuming. It is crystal clear. His physical battles with you have advanced to the spiritual. And you are not ready for it. Is this what you want to do for the rest of your life? Nkwam, I don't understand what you want my life to be if my life is not in Ekusigo. I don't understand it. Everything around my life revolves around Ekusigo, period. That is it. I am not asking you to stay away from Ekusigo for the rest of your life. All I'm asking, or should I say suggest, is that you seize the great business opportunity over here. So that when you go back to Ekusigo, you will go back a different man. Nkwam. It's not that I don't want to, I don't want to do, I've never done any business before. I have not. Apart from our usual land racketeering in Ekwisigo, which I am very much comfortable with. Yes, I am comfortable with it. Let me tell you something. I don't want to do something that at the end I will, I will finally regret it. I don't want it at all. That's, that's my issue. There is always a first time. Besides, who, who, who says you're going to fail? Listen, darling. Omi Fuku is a well-established businessman. Okay. All you need to do for him is to help in distributing in his special fabrics. You can start from there and who knows, he could make you a partner in future. 
really? Yes. Well, Nkemi seems to have everything all figured out. I have no option. I want a fulfilling life for you. And I bless the gods that my employer, who is a good woman, is well connected. She was the one who made this happen. Oh, really? Yes, she did. And darling, we will be fools to miss this great opportunity. We have to seize it. You think so? It seems I can't be able to get my head out of this. You wouldn't take no for an answer, would you? Hold in a second. It's that a yes. Tell me, when will the meeting with Omi Fuku of Inewi be arranged? Are you serious <laughs> right now? <laughs> I'm so of happy! Course, yes. Thank you! <laughs> Thank you! You've got the game all figured out. <laughs> Let me call her right away. <laughs> Maidens of Ekusigo Kingdom. Mm. Even our king has gotten a wind about what is happening amongst us. How do we all think that that will make him feel about the ones that are supposed to be the pride and the glory of the kingdom? It is wrong. It is totally wrong for a maiden to run after a man who has shown no interest in her. Do you know what's the worst? Maidens fighting themselves. Some are even willing to kill because of one man. It is so shameful and disgraceful of us. We need to put a stop to this. Tell them. Hey, hey, hey. 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 I sneak around him, mm. but not hey. trying to kill a maiden mm. because of him. Tabu chipu go no, tu chipu ano. You sneak around him. Shame on you. You knew full well that Oku Delo had a woman in his life, and yet you sneak around him. Ne kam joke ne gi all the ma. Eh? It is not good. Maidens, please can we keep it together now? Can we keep it together? This is not the reason why we're gathered here today. If we keep fighting and arguing amongst ourselves, then we will never prefer solutions to these Cloud problems. Cloud we need to put a stop to this madness. Uh, All the young men of Ekusigo are not finding it funny anymore. They say that we make them feel like they are not in existence. Why we run after one man or maker? Mm -hmm. Our young men are eligible and ready to get settled. Hey. But what are the maidens for them to settle with? We are busy waiting in line for Omeka to keep taking turns. Mm -hmm. This is so shameful. So I'm here to ask us again. Are we all still waiting for Omeka to get married to us? That is the question. Answer. Are we all still waiting? Why don't you practice what you preach first? Why did you call this meeting? Is it because you're truly concerned about the integrity of the maidens? Or you are threatened because of the current happening? What are you possibly insinuating? <laughs> can you, can you run? Know it today that your countless secret night trips to Omenka's house are no more secret. Eh? Hey! Hey! hey. Can you run? Wanda. Is it true? I don't believe her. I don't. Can you run? Maidens, we all have our lives to live. So, do not let any hypocrites tell you otherwise. If Omega is the only man after our hearts, fine, we we'll all have the right to fight for his love. We are all desiring of the love of a great man. 
But it is left for him to choose who he wants to be with eventually. Ezioku. Yes. Ezioku. Oma chancha. Nekudu no kunugis di na para 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 para. Eh? You must really think that you are the wisest person living right now. Okay? If really you are very wise, why didn't you end up as the princess? Oh. Why? Mm -hmm. Sense of prayer. No, Jetachi. I am not wise, just like you and everyone here. Yes. I am foolish. We are all fools for a man. And that is the truth. My dear, Omenka is single and available for any maiden who deserves of him. We all have Omenka to ourselves until he has chosen. I'm sure that will be you. Kanira, <laughs> tell me, are you going for another round of sneaking to Are you? Are you a wrong hey, shape? Hey, 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 are you a wrong You no know, get money, sorry, now you're more. Oh, dog, dog, my good friend. Mm. It feels good to have you back home. Yes. Well, it feels good too. I can't believe I've been away for so long. Of course, you have been so long. You know, <laughs> when I saw the mansion that you were building down the road, mm -hmm. I was so shocked. Ooh. Yes. So you saw the mansion? It is no longer in use. Wow. Yes. Now tell me, how do you see the building? Very, very massive. <laughs> very, very big. Befitting for someone of your status. You can say that again. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Indeed. Ne we paid off. <laughs> Does it? Are you still asking me? Yes. Hey, can I jump? I mean, of course, look at you. Look at your skin. It glows like that of a newborn baby. That's the way I broke on a guy named. Ominka will feel threatened again. Mm. Especially since he has been bragging about his victory. After the king conferred the title, Okoro Sunziri, on him last year. Thank the gods that you are back to put him in his place. And someone needs to do that. Yes! Can you imagine? He has taken away all the meetings of Ekusigo. Nobody knows what he has done to them. They all have abandoned all the men. Hoping that one day, Omenka will marry them. Really? Yes. That is wow. the issue we have been dealing with. Eh? The funniest thing is that the animal is not ready to marry any. He is just sleeping practically with every one of them. They continue hoping that he will pick her one day to become his wife. Ekusigo is in a mess, my brother. Well, that served the maiden's right. Very right. You see, to be honest with you, my brother, I am not here for Menka. Mm. Yes. Gone are the days of my youthful exuberance. It's far behind me now. Very, very far behind me. <laughs> Although, but to be honest with you, <laughs> if I had the kind of experience I have now, two years earlier, I don't think I would be like this. I would be far better than this. Better. I am not here for Menka. I can't, I shouldn't have been having this meaningless, fruitless fight with Omenka if I had this kind of experience. I'm telling the truth. Mm. Oh, <laughs> Evidently, Newi has done something to you. Can yes. say that again. Yes. Can say that again. Yes. Does it? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, my brother, for that. Thank you so much. You see, Odogu, I am back to the to this village to have a family town. I have a reason of coming back. I want to settle down with my woman, have a beautiful family, beautiful kids, mm -hmm. live a responsible life and a noble life. Okay. Not all this nonsense, fights and fruitless thing with Omenka. 
The gods must be very impressed with you. And I am equally happy for the man that you have become. Eh? Yes, I am. Let's just hope that Omenka will borrow a leaf from you. And we will one day have peace in you. Your Majesty. You are indeed. You are doing well. Thank you, Your Majesty. And I'm very, very happy for you. You know, your very extravagant marriage to your wife was a few days ago. And it was the talk of everybody in town. You can say that again, Your Majesty. <laughs> and now you are here today. I gathered you left a cow for me outside. Yes, Your Majesty. You want to be given the title. Of Opoma of Epusigo, which is the highest title in our land. <laughs> Your Majesty will make me very happy if my wish is being granted. Yeah, but I need to make you understand something. It is not within my power as the king of Epusigo to give you that title. No, 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 no. It is actually bigger than just the king. That is why it is the highest title in Epusigo. Let me tell you something. There is nobody who has managed to take that title in the last three generations. And that is because of the financial implication. Are you prepared to actually take this title? Do you know the things that are required? Your Majesty, that I pay all the debts owed by all my family members, both nuclear and extended. To the tenth generation. It is indeed very big. We are going to calculate every single debt owed by every member of your family and for you to qualify as a beneficiary of the highest title in Epusigo, you will have to pay all of them. Not only that, you will pay 400,000 naira each to every member of the Nzenozo group. Do you really think you have what it takes to take this title? Your Majesty, I am very much aware of it. I am. And you are prepared to pay? <laughs> Your Majesty, eh? all my life I've worked very hard for this title. Ever since I became aware of this title, I've worked very hard for it. And thanks the gods, <laughs> they have blessed me with enormous wealth to fulfill my dreams. I am ready, Your Majesty. I'm indeed very happy for you. Thank you, Your <laughs> This is good. You know, what I am going to do is that I will initiate a meeting of some elders. Actually, we are going to set up a committee that will calculate the things that you are required to pay. You know, meet the members of your family for them to submit the debts they owe. Everything will be calculated and openly. If you are able to pay all, then the title is yours. Your Majesty, let them start with the calculation immediately. I would need my vogue to give me a bit of me, okay? Eh? I think I like what I have seen. <laughs> Your Majesty. Eh? <laughs> Omega, I gathered from a reliable source that Okudili have spent over 7 million naira on this. He will be given the title. What are you saying? Are you serious with what you're saying or you're just trying to pull my legs? I am not joking. I am telling you the truth and nothing but the truth. Listen, his family debt came up to two million. He has paid. The chief tenancy title group came up to five million naira. Okudile has also paid. Now the stage is set. I don't understand. How can Okudile afford seven million naira? How? I heard from a reliable source that Okudile has not only made good money. He now lives life large. And the young man is still busy making more money from his business at Inewi. Business? What sort of business is he doing? Ritual business, I suppose. You have never trusted him. Why would anyone trust that good for nothing? Because I know that the only way that Okudili can afford Okoma or Fekusigo title is only if he has used 
one unfortunate fellow for a ritual? Well, nobody can tell. I have it on good account from my reliable source that he was introduced, or perhaps his business has to do with Omifiego of Inewi. His wife, former employers, introduced him to Omifiego after he survived the attack of two years ago. That attack? That attack is something I'm still surprised and how he survived it. Why? You asking me why? Is it not bad enough that he killed someone for ritual and his occultic kingdom protected him? Now he's here to intimidate me with his occultic power. <laughs> you know that is something I will not allow to happen. Omega, why do I keep having this feeling from the tone of your voice that you know something about the attack? You see, sometimes when you talk, I have no doubt questioning your sanity. Because it's no longer news to anyone that the ghost struck him for trying to hijack the unmerited title. Now he is here in this land, trying to steal the highest title. You don't have to go all about agitating about this. After all, he has not been bestowed the title of the Okboma. Like you rightly stated, he might not even be able to afford it. So you don't have to go about killing yourself for nothing. May your generation be the one that will die for nothing. My friend, oh yeah, get out of my house! I say, get out of my house! I don't even know why I, I, I was here listening to you with your fake news and, uh, uh, and lies. You pushed me out of your house? If you don't live here now, we'll do something worse. Omega onye meme Money stop nonsense yo It is dey go is olunden zeriba Odogun I can't believe that the king and Ndin Zenozo accepted blood money from that of Feke They gave him the highest title in Ekusigo That is bad he earned that title. Omega. He earned the title because he has filled their greedy hands with blood money. You see, the most disgusting part of it is that nobody is asking any question. That is how bad this kingdom has deteriorated. Omega, I know you hate Okudli so much, but he would never do a thing like that. Eh? He wouldn't even hurt a fly for ritual. He worked hard for that money. How would you know that, Odogu? How would you know that? Oh, I see. He has bought you over too, with his blood money. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Do not insult me. Eh? See, Uminka, it is time you give up. Let it all go. Let what go, Odogu? If you fight with Oku Dele, eh? I mean, he has. Moved on. He is not even fighting you anymore. Eh? Look at this. He has a family. He has the highest title. Would you life. shut up, Odogu? You are in my abode. And you do well to mind your tongue. Please don't provoke me. Omega, it is only a slave that sees the truth and ties his tongue in silence. All I am saying is that you should let it go. Eh? He has won it all. He is now the Opoma of Ekusigo. Eh? And that makes him the next in command to the king. Eh? Just give up. Give up and pick one of these maidens that killed themselves over you. Marry them and then have peace. Ominka, <laughs> Biko. You see, those who fight evil, they parade with the blood edge of supernatural powers. I am not a loser. I am a great man and greatness will never depart from me. You see this fight will that Nikon poop. That of Feke, I will fight it to the finish. Even if it takes the last drop of my blood. Uminka Suiki. Uminka Suiki. Your blood is too hot. Uminka Onyememe. Money stop 
What if you no get money? If you fool you are Donna, I told you I've been skeptical about this thing from the onset. I never wanted to get involved in ritual. As you can see, there are no options. The Temple of Practical Wonders has never disappointed. Just do what the Master asks you to do and you will see all the money you need. With all due respect, Donald, you are not making sense. I followed you there because I knew of their notorious requirement. They would ask you to offer your mother or father or even offer both. But since I don't have parents, I thought they would ask of stranger or something else. Why would they finally ask of my manhood? And of what use is your manhood if you have no money to solve your problems? And even maintain your status as the biggest boy in your town. Looking at you with that thing coming out of your mouth, I feel like giving you a dirty slap. My manhood you are talking about. You know you cannot do that, Omenka. Just go back to the temple and offer your manhood for all the millions you need. Women have never been important to strong men, except to try and kill them. Speak for yourself. Hmm? Speak for yourself. I love women and they have played an important part in my life. Come to think of it, if I offer my man who just like he asked, with what would I now bear children that would inherit the wealth? <laughs> oh, I see. Let me make it simple for you. You can marry some powerful ladies who can keep secrets. Build them houses. They can live on their own and get some young men who will make them pregnant. According to the tradition of a Quisigo, where you came from, you are the one who paid the bride price. So all the children they bear are yours. Think, Omenka. Act like a man. The Ogoma of a Pusigo is a sacred title that can be given to just one person at a time. I'm sorry, did I say anything wrong about Okuma of Epusigo? The Okuma of Epusigo is the highest title in our Epusigo kingdom. And presently, there is a man of Epusigo who holds that title. I am sure you are aware of this. Yes, Your Majesty. That's why I want you to give me a title higher than Okuma of Epusigo. I'm afraid there is none. Your Majesty, money can create anything. So create one. What did I just hear you say? What I'm saying, Your Majesty, is that you create a title befitting for me. Higher than Oboma of Ekusigo. I know it would cost money, but you name your price and I will make it available. Are you out of your mind? No, is that what they taught you? You start before me to blab this nonsense? The great king of Ekusigo. I don't mean to disrespect you. But how little you understand the power that you possess. You see, your majesty, all these titles were created by past kings who held the same authority that you are holding now. They created those titles and name them whatever they please. You can also do the same. Give me a title that is befitting, more greater than Oboma of Ekusigo, and I will pay the price. It is so certain that madness has taken over the entire departments of your brain. That is why you can come here to say this nonsense. Who told you that titles are created in the manner you just described? Who told you that? Your Majesty. I've made my demands. And I am serious. You see, Your Majesty, I will start by giving you 10 million naira for a start. And to you, 
10 million naira is money big enough to get a king do some rubbish? What will it cost you to take your demented self out of my throne room right now? Well, Your Majesty, it is your throne room. If you ask me to leave, I will go. And I am asking you to get out. Leave and go back to those that sent you and tell them that you came face to face with a king who is not ready to undermine our cultural relevance. Get out. Your Majesty, I may be demented, but I am only demented with wealth. The gods, they've blessed me with tremendous riches. So I will need a befitting title for myself, Your Majesty. Whatever it will cost, I will make it available. I beg to take my leave, Your Majesty. The first sword of the sword. <clears throat> If you knew the words of a man offering you a handshake, in all sincerity you would grab my hand and worship me. But you are like a child on his mother's back. You don't know the distance covered by your mother's will feet. Talk to your father, the king. Tell him that he may not come across anyone as generous as me in his entire life. Let him take this life-changing opportunity. Advise him. Everybody needs something extra. I believe you are his trusted son. So advise him. Like father, like son. If you could yet again, men of Bordeaux, or Menta, on your meme, Abatame, or on your tea, who yak a wooden son. What does Omeka want from you? You saw him, right? Yeah, I saw him on my way here. It's so clear. Foolishness has taken over his head. He's a fool. Simple as that. What does he want? That idiot wants me to confer on him a title that is superior to the Opuma of Ekusigo Kingdom. What does that really mean? Exactly. No, what does that really mean? It means nothing. It simply means Omenka is insane. I don't know what happened. I presume he made some money. And now the only way he has conceived to show the status that he has assumed is to have a title that is above Opuma of Ekusigo. And he has offered to pay me 10 million naira to give him that title. So can you imagine the insult? Really? What do you mean by really? Can't you see that he's a madman? Father, Father, wait. Um, does he really have money? Who cares? I mean, I mean, how is that their business? Father, wait. Father, wait. I care. And you should also care too. Yes. What are you saying, actually? Father, but don't you think it's high time Omega paid for the hurt he has cost every single man in this kingdom, including me? Nemanya. I'm a man who can about war. War Colombia. I am aware. Now, why are you smuggling your your private problem with your menka into the issue of the discussion? What has that got to do with this? Father, 
Father, let me open your eyes. What? Yes. Father, we live in a new millennium where people capitalize on every given opportunity to be richer. You are not making sense. What are you saying? Speak like a prince. Father, just take a good look at your so-called true room. Yes. Can you compare this to the thrones of other kings? Even those below your status? Hey, hey. Don't insult me. Oh, Father. Father, I'm not insulting you. And I can never insult you. If the so-called stupid Omega can afford 10 million, then let's create a title for him and build him 50 million. Yes! Then when he pays that, we use the same money to renovate this place to our own standard. You know, most times when you speak, I will start imagining that I actually gave birth to a fool. Why are you talking like somebody who is bereft of manners? Do you ever understand that you are a prince? Do you understand you live in a palace where ancient authorities are domiciled? Why are you saying things that make me feel you want to undermine the ancestors? Father, forget about these ancestors. Who the ancestors? Hell! What? Yes! Father, I can remember that you've been loyal to these ancestors for so many years now and they have never made you a millionaire king. Yes! Father, Father, we live in a new age now. Money talks. Let's talk money. Yes! Carlos. Billion 50 million and it sounds so easy in your mouth. Did you look at that young man? Was he looking at somebody who has 50 million naira anyway? Father, build him first. Father, build him first. Don't judge a book by its cover. Yes! Any, any man that has 10 million can also afford 50 million. Father, don't, don't, don't. Just build him. Eh? Well, I wasn't there, but I was made to understand that um, the men ruling with the king uh, did not want to get involved. They actually thought that would deter the king, but um, it looks like he's going ahead with his plans. Ekusigo, Ekusigo. I've never had a name like that before. Nobody has ever heard of such a title. But I guess the king just created it to make Omenka relevant. <laughs> It's really laughable. Do you know what baffles me so much? How can our king get involved with such absurdity? How? <laughs> absurdity indeed. Well, the king and his son are the ones planning it. And the funny thing is that they actually gave him a condition that told him that he has to pay up all the debts owed by all the initiated men of a uh, possible king. That means they have already cursed him. Exactly. Because to my understanding, no man has ever paid the debts owed by all the initiated men of Ekusigo in this kingdom. No one. And the money is too much. Bags, plenty bags of money. Yeah. No man has that kind of money. Oh yes, but then, well, the funny thing is that uh, this morning, no one has come up with any debt. Uh -uh. Why? Uh, well, Ekusigo of Ekusigo, nobody wants to get involved. Because they all believe it's a strange and stupid title. <laughs> and yet, the king is going ahead to give him the title. Well, the king is planning this one with his son. And guess what? They actually asked him to pay up 50 million naira, which he has already paid. <laughs> well, he is the king. Let him do as he wishes. <laughs> I don't care. Well, that is where you come in. Yes, you're the second in command. If we do not do something, the wrath of the gods will befall this land. So we need you to step in as the second in command and do something about it. Oh, wait, 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 Ebubeke, hold on. Uh, let me ask you something. Are you doing this because Omenka defied your daughter? Oh, Are you? far from it. That's all behind me. Besides, my daughter has moved on. I am doing this because I am a, a woman in authority in the land of Ebusiko. So I can't just sit back and not talk about it. And as the next person to the king, you're the only one that can fight this battle for us. Please. Well, Rebecca, um, 
Thanks for inviting me, but I'm, I am sorry to disappoint you. I don't want to get myself involved. Please, you can't say no. You're the second to the king. You're, you're the only one that can do this. You can't let him take over your position. You need to fight for the people. Ebubeke, I've gone above that low life of living. I've gone above that. Just look at me. And one thing I don't want now is to let Omenka draw me back again. I don't want that to happen again. See, I want to live a life of a role model to my children. I want them to emulate me. I don't want them to live the kind of life I've lived. No, I don't want that to happen again. Please, I am sorry. Well, I, I think I have to be on my leave. Thank you. You are the priest of my land. And to the best of my knowledge, I have no problem with you. We have been running on well. Why will you finally come into my palace and you elect to stand outside? Doesn't make sense. Please, come inside. I must have Kula to present to the priest. Money is not evil. But the love of money is said to be the root of all evil. Your Highness. From that thing you just said, I can, I can understand they have briefed you on the title we are planning to bestow on an illustrious son of this kingdom. I don't know why you are interfering. This area you are delving into right now is politics. You are a priest, and I want you to restrict yourself to your job as a priest. Leave us, the politicians of Fiepusigo, to play the politics. Please. Your Highness, there is no title above the one Okudili holds. Do not cripple our land by creating something else, um, Your Highness. Unfortunately, I have already created it. In my capacity as the king of Ekusigo, and we are proceeding to bestow that title on the man who already paid for it. Because do not bring unnecessary dimension into this. This is politics. People must be allowed to make money from the office they occupy. He has already paid me for that title and I am going to give it to him. Please, if this is why you came, I will urge you to go back. Do not interfere again. This is politics. Allow us to play our politics, please. Just go back and allow us. Eh? Uh, my prince, <clears throat> if you are not listening to me, who then do you listen to? Eh? Call your father to order before it is too late. <laughs> Udemba, are you actually advising my father and I on what we must do? <laughs> the last time I was briefed on this, advising you Advising you is a core part of my job. Then stop advising me. Do you understand? Stop it. Omeka has paid for the time too. And my father and I are proceeding on giving it to him. Do you understand me? Why? Hey! Why? Why, drum man? Hey! Omeka that you, my prince, hated so much. The hatred you have on him is with passion. Is that your best friend? Just because of smelling money. Smell, not even a good smell. No sense smell, smelling money, my oh, oh. What did you mean by smelling That is the money he has. That is the money he has. Yes. Tell me, how else will you explain his wealth? Yeah? My please. Integrity is everything. Compare your father to give him back his money. Eh? Omega is too classless to buy you and your father. Ah! Eh? How dare you? Eh? How dare 
Now you question what I do with my father. Are you mad? Let me now tell you if you must have forgotten that you are a servant in this palace and you have no right, no right at all to advise anybody. Do you understand me? Say one more word. I will kill you here. In a pala! Olaki, 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 I will give it away again if you don't shut up. Idiot! Trust me. Nobody is excited about this ceremony. Nobody. People are just here just to see how it will go. Exactly. This is the reason I am here. I want to know if he's the king that will give him the title or if Dezemo will make himself available for this. No, no, get it. Dezemo can never get himself involved in this or not possible. I know. He, he bought it. Eh? Yes, he bought it. Then you. He bought, he bought it. Uh, yes. Are you sure? Oh, I'm sure. Okay. How much did he buy it? Uh, 50 million. Hey! I'm telling you, he bought it. Would they? He gave the 50 million. They want to use it to transform this old palace hey. to his wood. No, he's even old. Very old! Hey! Oh, shit. Look at it, look at it. Three, the tree, tree is growing in the palace. In the tree. Who is still to the palace? I know why they are all here. All of them inside there. I know why they are here. They want to see if indeed I will receive the greatest title in this land that I will make them understand something that it would happen today I will let them know that this is a new dawn in this land a dawn of money <laughs> my prince I will change the face of Ekusigo when I am bestowed with that title. <laughs> Omeika, um, I will tell you, do not make a lot of promises yet. <laughs> hmm? Just collect the title first, then every other thing will be added. Hmm? As in Onyala. Mm -hmm. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> when I am bestowed with a title, I will show you stuff that I have made of interesting. I am indeed glad that we gathered here today to witness this very important occasion. I believe you all know why we are here. Wow. I am particularly impressed with you, Okudele. The Okuma of Ekusigo for honoring this invitation. It actually shows that you are a man of strong character. Wow. We are here today to witness the crowning of a title that is actually superior to the Okuma of Ekusigo. <laughs> That title is the title of Ekusigo of Ekusigo Kingdom. Has anybody heard that before? No. <laughs> <laughs> By the verdict of the king, from today onwards, it's going to be the highest title in Ekusigo Kingdom. That is the title we have created, and that is the title we are going to bestow on another illustrious son of Ekusigo kingdom today. And the holder of that title, by the verdict of the king, is going to be the second in command to the king of Ekusigo land. Your majesty, sir. Yes, Ishiodeka, what is it? Uh, with due respect, sir, all these things you are saying, I'm not aware of it. Yeah. Well, um, Ishiodeka, as the president of the town union, it is not everything that you must know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This is a decision I took in my individual capacity as the OB 
of your pussy go. That is to say, the paramount ruler of your pussy go kingdom. The young man who is going to receive the title is Omenka Iban. Step on the I'm going to give to go to go to the This is the symbol of the Yokusi go. Never look at it. <laughs> this is the symbol. <laughs> this is the symbol that empowers this young man as the Ekusigo of Ekusigo Kingdom. Oh my God! Oh my God! You see, Odo, can you witness this occasion? So when you go back to the Secretariat of the Town Union, you will have something to report to them. Yes, yes. Yeah. After receiving this title. You are going to be second in command to the king. <laughs> <laughs> and by the powers vested on me, as the OB of Epusigo, the paramount ruler of Epusigo kingdom, I place this staff on your hands and I declare you mm. the Epusigo of Epusigo kingdom. <laughs> The stop and fly. We follow the cops to the grave. Hello, man. Hello. When you manipulate the tradition of the land, this is what happens. Yeah. Through their greed and desire for revenge, they have paid the price of manipulation. Okudili, the Okuma of Ekusigo. The gods and our ancestors recognize you as the second in command to the Obi of Ekusigo. <laughs> and according to our tradition, you are to be crowned the Obi of Ekusigo if the king and the prince die at the same time. Hey, 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 you see hey, you hey, <laughs> oh, Kudili, you can now step forward. Hey. You see, I don't know. Hey. Hey, brother, brother. Come forward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know. Down there. You put the back. Don't give it to me. The man, I'm not going By virtue of the powers vested on me as the chief priest of Ekusigo, I hereby crown you the OB of Ekusigo. <laughs> Yeah. 